Google has just lost a landmark data privacy case in Europe, which means that it could be forced to remove some personal information from its search engine. Well, joining me now to talk about it is our digital media correspondent, Robert Cookson. Robert, what does this mean for Google exactly? How big a setback is it? It's a huge deal for Google. It's another sign of European regulators really sinking their teeth into this US company that for many, many years has been beyond their jurisdiction. Um, it means that Google may have to make quite big changes to its search results, its core product. So what does it mean for those individuals that want to get stuff removed from Google's search engine? Will that be a straightforward process now, do you think? That will depend on several things. The first being the solution that Google implements, which will be a combination of technical measures to adjust how its search results are produced and admin administrative ones, because there'll have to be some process of judging whether an individual's complaint is um, justified or not. Um, beyond that, uh, there are questions such as how the courts and how national data regulators will interpret this uh, European judgment. Now this European judgment is of course or has of course been delivered by the European Court of Justice, the highest court in Europe and uh, therefore Google can't appeal. Does it have any wriggle room at all? What are its options do you think? I think it, it can, I mean it will be now working incredibly hard on the legal side and the technical side to come up with a solution that's I suppose, just enough to um, satisfy the regulators and avoid causing huge administrative burden to, to its own business. Google is a, is a business that's built on automation. The last thing it wants to do is have to hire lots of people to deal with individual requests to take down personal data. And what about the wider implications of all of this? Um, is there likely to be a, uh, a big fallout and um, you know, how many other companies would be affected, do you think? This goes well beyond Google and it's part of a, a big European drive to um, help you know, enshrine this you know, so-called right to be forgotten, um, which taken to its extreme means that all, all sorts of businesses that hold personal information um, have to have processes in place whereby um, people can, can remove it in certain circumstances. And you know, there's going to be huge debate about exactly what those certain circumstances are, what's justified, what isn't. Um, that's what happens now. Okay, clearly a big story, but Robert will have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.